Leading up to this week's Climate Rally, eco-organizations are hosting events aimed at getting the community excited about going green. Lucy Strange has the story. Weather Eyes DC is trying to lift over 3,000 metric tons of carbon from the air with hot dogs, live music, and a whole lot of insulation. Today we have a block party going on at St. Albans Church. Um, they have weatherized their rectory, which we're in right now, and they're using it to do outreach to the community. So any homeowners who are interested in seeing what weatherization is actually like can come and tour the building. Um, we've got some games and activities and food and music going on as well. want to make it a fun event because we are about engaging community around energy efficiency. All week, environmental activists will be engaging in discussion on how best to secure the world's resources. I find myself trying to convince homeowners that no, they shouldn't focus on their windows. Because windows t usually are responsible for about 10 to 15 percent of the energy loss of a home, whereas you know, 30 to 40 percent is due to air leaks uh, and, and low insulation levels up in an attic. Homeowners who want an energy audit can contact the D.C. Department of Energy and schedule one with a professional. What are your favorite ways for people to weatherize their house, like, on their own? Oh, um, basically, if you turn on your hot water and turn it all the way to hot and it's way too hot for you to use, then I would recommend going downstairs and turning your hot water heater set point down because water heating inherently is very inefficient, so um, that would be a really good way to save quite a bit of energy. As an organization, so we're looking to hit 200 homes um, to weatherize. Weatherizing these 200 homes is the equivalent of removing 600 cars from the road. It can also create four to six jobs for people in D.C., good green jobs, uh, you know, make sure that those jobs are going to people who need them, communities where there's 30 percent unemployment, high poverty, and we can um, help people rise out of that. The Washington Interfaith Network and others are pressuring Mayor Fenty to use low-income housing weatherization to bolster employment. There's been, it has been, become obvious that there have been a lot of green jobs training programs, um, and so a lot of people have gotten green jobs training, but the jobs aren't there. From New York to Morocco to Buenos Aires and Tokyo, more than one billion people are expected to take part in Earth Day, calling on lawmakers to take action against climate change. Lucy Strange, District Wire News. A lumpy breakfast cereal is getting a spring facelift here in the district. Oatmeal is beginning to rival the cult food status of Georgetown Cupcake. The formerly frumpy oat is popping up in cute containers in places like Starbucks, Aubon Pond, Cozy Caribou Coffee, Jamba Juice, and Squeak Green Eateries are mixing in all sorts of toppings from goji berries to quinoa, the classic brown sugar. Marketing firms say oatmeal's popularity is not surprising in a bad economy. Oatmeal is low in fat, high in fiber, and now it's portable. A Maryland farmer's market offers fresh produce to residents and keeps local farmers in business. Lucy Strange has more. If you go to Safeway or Giant or any other supermarket, to pick up a head of lettuce. The farmer who actually grew that lettuce gets approximately 10 cents for every $2 that you spent at the supermarket. The farmers at a farmer market, they get the full amount. We hope that that gives them a way to stay in this area. My day starts at, at 5.30 a.m. when the alarm goes off. I, I drive myself to the farm, pick up all the, load the truck up. I usually get to the market about 7, which is an hour before the market, I'm sorry, 8, which is an hour before the market starts, set up and get ready to go. Um, breakdown is just a reversal of that. Um, most of the uh, stuff that started to defrost, I'll usually trade out to other vendors for, for their product. It's a great barter system. The market was founded by the American Farmland Trust, an organization that lobbies lawmakers to protect farmlands and promote sustainable farming. We'll have strawberries in a couple weeks, and you can tell a big difference compared to the grocery store. Until we get into the season, like we'll have a lot of stuff, like all kinds of vegetables and fruits. We have to be at the farm at 2.30 in the morning to load the trucks. Despite the long hours, Farmers say it's worth it to come out to the market because they know their produce is fresher and better for you than the supermarkets. Ice cream contains at least 10% milk fat and goes all the way up to 30%. Um, most premium ice creams range in between 20 to 30. 
And then gelato is only 3 to 8% milk fat, so it's a lot better for you. <laughs> At the end of the day, nonprofits like Shepherd's Table collect all the unsold food and donate it to needy families. While there are slim pickings now, local farms work to secure their own future and put more veggies on the table. Lucy Strange, District Wire News. The Washington Capitals are headed to Montreal tonight for Game 3 of their opening round. NHL playoff series, the Capitals are tied with the Canadians at one win each after Saturday's overtime victory of 6-5 in Game 2. The series moves to Montreal for three games after two close decisions in Washington. Capitals coach Bruce Boudreaux says both goalies will play again in Game 3. Starting goalie Jose Theodore was pulled after two shots in Game 2. That's all the time we have for today. I'm John Humanick. Thanks for watching. I'm Nehema Jackson-Brown.